Many of us had fond memories of going to school and talking about who would win in a rap battle against Superman versus Goku, Batman versus Sherlock Holmes, or Master Chief versus Leonidas, or the Mario Brothers versus the fucking Wright Brothers if you were a fucking history snob or whatever. Y y you get the idea. Epic Rap Battles of History was for a lot of us a gateways into shows, movies, and even a little bit of history for us as kids. The idea of having both fictional and non-fictional characters rap against each other and essentially using the character's history as this is was a really great idea. An idea so great that pretty much every time they uploaded a rap battle in the early days, it would catch fire on trending almost immediately. But as the tale of old, their fire and sparks seem to not burn as brightly as it used to. With YouTube's ever-changing landscape favoring longer videos to keep more people on the platform for longer, as opposed to YouTube's old landscape which favored smaller and more viral videos, Epic Rap Battles content, and by extent their channel, seem to have decreased in views and in attention. Now, even though their channel is pulling in millions of views, it's not pulling in nearly as much as it used to. With that being said, they're nowhere near a dead channel. 5.6 million views is nothing to scoff at, but for a channel that can pull that many views in their sleep, only to have it be a plateau for a video, is kind of concerning given that it's about John Wick. An epic rap battle about fucking John Wick. The guy who killed people with a fucking pencil. But why have they suddenly developed a stunt and growth in their channel? Could it be YouTube's landscape changing in favoring of longer videos about fucking nothing? Or could it be something in the background, like their rap battles not appealing to the audience anymore? Or it could be fucking anything, I don't fucking know. I'm not a fucking expert on this shit. But let's sit back and take a history lesson into the channel that I respect and a channel that was essentially a huge part of YouTube's history. Epic Rap Battles of History, or better yet known as ERB, is a YouTube web series and music project created by Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd. The series pits historical and pop culture figures to fight against each other in a rap battle. If you had a stupid idea like what if Ash went up against Charles Darwin in a fucking rap battle, chances are they've probably done it. Epic rap battles started off small, with rap battles such as John Lennon vs Bill O'Reilly. The rap battles in their infancy were obviously just a test the waters type beat. But luckily for them, it worked. Out of all the videos posted on the Nice Peter channel, this one pretty much outshined all the others and not only put ERB on the map, but made it a mainstay in YouTube's history. But this wouldn't be a one-time thing. It was clear that people loved the concept. So Epic Rap Battle was born and moved away from the Nice Peter channel and having its own dedicated channel. After the channel's initial start, this is truly where epic rap battles took off in popularity. Videos would come out in seasons because of the production cost. For a very, very long time, epic rap battles was doing well and amazing for themselves. Every time a video would be uploaded by them, they would hit trending almost guaranteed. And almost every season they would try to get celebrities on board like Weird Al, T-Pain, and even fucking Snoop Dogg. But not just celebrities would make appearances. Also other YouTubers like Red and Link, Smosh, God bless your soul, and even a cameo of PewDiePie as Mikhail Baryshnikov. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that, huh? I actually found out about it while doing research for this video and it blew my fucking mind. I, I remember watching this rap battle when it was first uploaded, but I just I could not wrap my head that that looked like PewDiePie. Epic Rap Battles of History is a monumental pillar in YouTube's history. All of their rap battles have this very catchy and addicting beat and rhythm and the raps are just fucking fire as the kids would say nowadays. An example of this is the one between Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. That shit was released in 2012 and it still fucking slaps. Just the way the rap battles were chock full of references to the characters, it, 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 it's amazing. 
Not only were the references just to the characters, but to the characters past as well. Like there was just some shit that I didn't know that I actually had to look up for a history lesson. That, that is, that is mwah, mwah, buenissima. But recently their videos haven't been gaining as much traction as they used to. I don't want to sound like the generic rise and fall YouTuber, but instead I want to analyze why their popularity became scarce. An example of this, and I don't want to be political, dear god I just play video games, please don't be political, is most of their presidency rap battles. I feel like the Obama vs Mitt Romney one slaps way more than Donald Trump vs Joe Biden one. Is, is it just, is it just me? It, it's. I don't know. Another example is most of their historical rap battles like Blackbeard vs Al Capone. I think that one is way better than Ragnar Lodbrok. Lo lo Loth Lothbrook? Lothbrook. Loth... I don't know. Versus Richard the Lionheart. I don't know, it's just something about the beat and the rapping in this one that just sounds way more catchier and addicting. But why aren't they popular anymore? Well, because of the YouTube algorithm. I know me saying the YouTube algorithm kind of fucked them over is kind of like a stupid thing and kind of an oxymoron because usually I would advocate the creators who blame the algorithm should blame themselves instead, but in their case their content is good. It's not recycled garbage, it's actually unique and extremely creative. But in this case the YouTube algorithm changed and favored longer videos so it can keep people on the platform longer. In 2012, YouTube announced their new metric, Time Watched, to use in their search and suggested video algorithm. In 2016, YouTube released a paper on its algorithm for the recommendation system. Because of this, a lot of late night shows would get recommended to people. Remember when Jimmy Fallon or fucking The Tonight Show starring t t Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> What's the name of the other one? What's the name of that other fucking late night show dude? His name's Jimmy something. No, not Jimmy Fallon. What's his fucking name? Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I gotta forget Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> but remember when Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel took over the recommended tab? Yeah, that's why. In 2021, YouTube gave more insight into its algorithm and how its recommendation systems work. They used three main categories for the new algorithm personalization, performance, and external factors. And epic rap battles would fall into all of these categories, but not as strong as they should for the YouTube algorithm to recommend them way more frequently. For example, the view duration. People would watch their videos, but because they were so short, YouTube would stop recommending them. That's why you see the random 4 hour documentary video about fucking show you vaguely remember by a YouTuber you don't even remember watching pop up in your recommendation every once in a while. This is a problem that happens with a lot of YouTubers who make short content like epic rap battles. If your video is super long and is about a topic that no other YouTuber has made, chances are you're gonna get recommended. But back to epic rap battles of history. So, to sum it up, the algorithm fucked them over. But this wasn't just the algorithm. In 2019, a little, a little local went around the world and made it super sick. That's also a factor on why their popularity started to stagnate. I would imagine that with an impact that fucked over the world would also fuck them over in terms of production. So, that's also a factor. Epic Rap Battles of History has heavy productions. Hours of work goes into one of their rap battles, and just the rise of the sea virus really did put a wrench in the cog, or whatever the fuck you Americans say. Another factor would also be the fact that the battles weren't what they used to be. I, I don't want to sound like the generic, oh I like them when they used to do this. I don't want to sound like that, but I, 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 I don't know. Is it just me? I feel like the newer seasons of Epic Rap Battles sound and look different than the old ones. The old ones had that more homemade feel to them, you know what I'm saying? Whereas the new ones feel more... corporate? I don't know if that's the word I'm trying to use. I, I think it might be wrong, but who the fuck knows? I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. Lord knows I've been wrong about a lot of things in the past. I don't know if the audience who watched Epic Rap Battles 
back in 2012 religiously, i.e. me, has either grown up or has no time to watch it anymore or just doesn't care for them anymore. But it's a shame. Obviously, they're not a dead channel. Far from it, actually. But I really hope that they would make a comeback and make some sort of fucking awesome epic rap battle that would just set them back on the map of YouTube. But yeah, that's it for me. Tell me what you think about this video and tell me what you think I could have done better or tell me your theories behind why Epic Rap Battle's popularity stagnated over the years. But that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy and if you do, please leave a like, favorite, and comment on the video and subscribe to this video. Friends on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. We'll be real soon. But until then, don't be a stranger. Bye!